everybody, Brian here from Quant. Today I'm going to show you in this video a combination of uh, C++ socket programming, basic strip down, along with uh, the ability with Python. So what I'm trying to do ultimately is have a process in Python, send in some messages from a Python script into a C++ program uh, that will receive those messages and do something with them. Well, lo and behold, being on a Mac OS X, you think it'd be easier, but it's actually the opposite. Unlike being in Windows and Visual Studio, which this could be a, probably been done within 10 minutes. Um, but we know where we stand on that. So I looked at a variety of different libraries out there um, that could and may, maybe could have been compiled in or on the Mac OS 10 within Xcode. So uh, I looked at Kafka. I looked at, um, again, Redis, so many angles, Rabbit, uh, MQ, which I believe was written in Erlang, which I just don't want to go down that path. The problem with Kafka, it's written in Scala. And that, again, I mean, I ended up running three, four different <clears throat> components just to do basic stuff what I'm about to show you probably don't get as much functionality that's fine but the complexity was just not worth it and there's probably a bunch of other ones that I can't be bothered to even mention so what I did was I tried to strip it all down I even looked at revisiting Java it was just it was just a nightmare so what I did was I, I fortunately found this uh, practical C++ sockets. Um, here are the uh, source files, uh, practical socket. Uh, and then there's two options uh, via TCP IP or UDP. Uh, I was not able to get UDP working as such, but I just want to get this damn thing working. So I found that the TCP finally worked. There's two, actually three versions. There's the client, there's a server, and then there's a server threat. I'll let you go to this URL to figure all that out. But essentially, in my uh, Xcode here, we've got here uh, three versions. We have the TCP echo server, which uh, brings in the message, adds it onto a separate uh, thread. Then we have the stripped down version, which is the TCP echo server. And it just takes one message. And then we have the client, which does the sending. Okay, so again, the source code's all there, but here's the key. Uh, what we've got here is um, when you run it, uh, for some reason, you gotta do the sudo uh, for the access. Uh, it looks like you need root access or elevated pr privileges. Uh, you obviously just run the executable or the bin file along with the port and your argument list. And then in this demo, uh, this is the client which will sign or send over the send. So uh, what you pass along is the, uh, the uh, address, your string, and your uh, address. So in my case, we're running on 8089, I believe. Yes. Okay, so let's run that. Put in my password for... Uh, uh, elevated access so now it's waiting so now I have to update the um, port here hopefully this will work so there you go so um, I passed in high tear and uh, it was able to um, basically return actually let me do that again so here you can see that it does return the high tear and then what the program does, uh, it will send back the, um, this is the thread one. So what it will do is it will accept, connect, bind to the, uh, the, the, the IP and port. And then what it will do here is it will uh, receive it. And then it will go through uh, a list and uh, actually re receive the message and then it will uh, go through a loop 
receiving uh, in chunks of that are defined in this buff size 32 um, here uh, I tried doing it a full bite but it kind of didn't work so I think you got to keep them small uh, and um, that's it it'll keep receiving the string or the message until there's no more okay that's basically how the uh, server thread works and then the um, client is pretty straightforward does the same thing binds the IP and the, the port but here it just sends down the um, the string or your message that you are uh, sending down in, in the pipe or in the socket and at the other end it will do the send I believe it's in here uh, no nope. um, yeah I guess that's the send right there and then it does the same thing I just showed you and uh, it will uh, receive the outbound message that's sent back out from the uh, um, from the, the uh, thread server thread uh, CPP okay so right here it'll send it back out once it's received and that's exactly what it does so what we're doing here is we're sending out the again the address the string and then the port this guy receives it and then it sends it back to the to the same program and that's what it does so if I just put in a different message of some kind you can see it's uh, working just fine okay so that's all fine but as I said our main goal was to get the um, working with Python so because it's socket programming it should be pretty simple uh, but just finding the answer is not all that fun especially on Mac okay so what we've got here is we've walked you through the C++ side so now we're gonna do the simple uh, sending from a Python script uh, which I'm about to show you so all we're gonna do is we've gonna work with a socket pack socket package uh, this code is from this URL here uh, and then we just uh, bind or connect here uh, send it out with our weird message that we're sending out and then we receive it pretty straightforward and this one's named uh, socket send to and so just remember that our um, socket thread program is still running here in C++ so this should work same thing before in the privileges so as you can see here we sent out that uh, string uh, this one um, it was sent out it received it okay I believe and uh, it was sent back Let me just see what's going on here yeah so there there's a receiving and uh, yeah it got sent back just fine so let me see if we can change that message here uh, I don't know blah blah let's make it a little more distinctive okay um, so it looks like it's one message behind Yeah, it's one message behind for some reason but uh, we'll get that figured out but the end of the day is we've got it working like that all right so there you go the most basic socket program you can get for both C++ and uh, Python I'll put the source code uh, links up for you uh, on my blog and uh, go from there. All right, later.